We're looking at uh, our property and exactly where the Manitoba Minnesota transmission hydro line is going to go right up over there. We went through a long process of elimination and looking at houses and and searching and I think we started that process last February and finally in July we pulled up here and we immediately knew that this was the place. We had all this space, this huge acreage of swamp where we knew no one was going to be coming so we knew this was all ours and now we get a letter yeah. from Manitoba Hydro. You know of course it, it's not the fact that the line is there per se but it's together with the fact of all the added traffic of four-wheelers and dirt bikes and snowmobiles and, and hunters. All the tracks in here are deer tracks. On a daily basis, I have six spots around this little loop here where I put deer feed every day. Virtually all of their entry and exit points come through that area where they're going to be putting up, where they're going to be putting up the line. I don't know, it just seems a little bit too easy to me if somebody's having access to that line and they can go up and down then I'm going to be feeding deer and they're just going to be like shooting fish in a barrel which is all going to also be in the direction of my house. So I mean I, I'm certainly not looking forward to that. We got an information packet in the mail in January uh, I, and I wasn't terribly worried about it because it was also including an invitation for a one-on-one -on -one meeting with them where at which point I just thought well we'll meet with them one-on-one. -on -one. I'll just tell them that I don't want them to come. When we had our our one-on-one -on -one meeting with the, with the Manitoba Hydro representative it was made abundantly clear that we could accept their initial offer or they would simply expropriate the land and the offer would go down. Uh, the line is going to run north-south. Those trees that are right there are already on the far side of the line. So the line will be completely this way. And where they had it mapped out that the 200 tower is going to go is just about just about exactly in line with with where those trees are the closest. So where those trees are the closest, that's where a 200 foot tall tower comes. Right here. Um, we put this picnic table here in summer. Um, it's a place that we like to go after work to kind of de-stress and talk about our day. Kind of talk to each other and and enjoy each other's company before we start our work for the evening. Um, and this is just a, a nice quiet place. You get to hear the bulrushes blowing by, um, the birds flying by, and now that's going to be ruined with a 200 foot tower right behind me. If I were to be able to give one thing, it's to make sure that there's enough awareness out there that by right of eminent domain, Manitoba Hydro has the ability to go wherever they want, whether you want them to or not. I mean, it's easy enough to say, well, you know, that's X amount of miles away, or, or that's, you know, we don't even live around there, but there is no line here now. And we thought that when we came here too. And all somebody has to decide is that we've got another place where we would like to put a line and if it ends up coming across your property and if they want to plunk down a, a 200 foot pole in the middle of your backyard, there is nothing that you can do about it.